Hey guys, Carter here with BDS Suspension, and right now we're out at the Easter Jeep Safari. This is the uh, Dixie Off-Road Expo. Awesome event, bringing tons of vendors together to show off new, new products for Jeeps, trucks, any off-road vehicles. The one exciting thing about this year, Bronco's here. They came here with a vengeance, showing off a ton of different cool setups for the Bronco, showing how they're gonna be available with different options, the diff six different packages that they're gonna offer, as well as a lot of cool trick ways to feature them and trick them out. So this one right here, obviously it is a body on frame vehicle, so they got this one set up right here with no body. So they're showing off everything it has to offer, all the underpinnings. Um, one thing that's cool and a little bit different than a Jeep, it is IFS, and a lot of people know about that. Um, a lot of people said, yeah, there's good and bad to that. I'm excited to see how it handles, because IFS does awesome on the road, and it does awesome for high speed performance. Something where a Jeep with a solid axle, maybe not the best setup. It's got an electronic sway bar disconnect, that at any time you can disconnect it. Um, it comes with either your choice of 33 or 35 tires, um, depending on how you have the vehicle set up. Uh, coming back, you have a four link in the rear with coilovers once again. So the cool thing about this vehicle it is a four corner coilover setup. Um, Fox, we're gonna be working closely with Fox on a bunch of Fox shock options. So you're gonna have the uh, 2.0 Performance Series, the 2.5 Performance Elite, and the 3.0 Factory Race Series. All those shock options are gonna be available in the future. Um, we, at this point, we're doing a lot of testing based on the CAD that we can get on these vehicles, but as soon as we can get our hands on it, we're gonna do a lot more. We have plans to do anything from the two all the way up to a six inch kit. Um, that'll allow clearance for all the way up to about a 40 inch tire, which we're pretty pumped to see that underneath the Bronco. So stepping over here, we got this one right here. This is an Outer Banks edition. I love the color of this. I love how they set this up. Mildly built, not over the top, but it's got a lot of clean, a lot of trick features um, all throughout. It's got the trail camera up front. It's got the built-in LED headlights. I love the tire and wheel package, the fender flares, all that. Coming to the interior, I love the simplicity. I love the cleanliness of this. Obviously, a giant, massive 12-inch screen. I love all the auxiliary switches up here, how it's got USB ports. Everything is kind of integrated nice and clean. It's got your four-wheel drive shifter right here on the dial with all your different GOAT modes. Obviously, there is an automatic. The cool thing about the automatic, you can do a front dig. You can lock up the rear tires and spin the front around to help you position the vehicle. It also comes with the option of a six-speed manual transmission. Other than that, things super cool. Obviously, this one has the cloth top. There are other versions that have the hard top with the removable panels. It's just super clean, super well put together. I'm excited to get these things into our shop so we can start developing even more products for them. So, coming back around, obviously there's a lot of excitement about this one. The one that you can actually get your hands on right now is this one right here. This is the Bronco Sport. We're not gonna go into a ton of detail because everything about it you can find out online. But we're excited because this is even a cool little platform to do something a little bit different. Obviously it's not the hardcore off-roader, but as a milder build to turn something in to have some fun, your weekend advent adventures, this Bronco Sport's a pretty cool package. So that's all we got from the Bronco booth. Talk to you guys soon.